Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Our sleep tight weather view takes us to the massive flooding that has been going on back in Texas there. This is the city of Houston, the area around Houston, and they have had nonstop big time problems in that area. Some crazy pictures coming out of the Houston area, and I know I've been talking about a very active pattern that we've been in the central part of the country here the last few days. Well, that's really where it's all kind of the heart of that activity is this storms forming over and over and over again in the same exact areas. And yeah, they've had nothing but problems out there with all that moisture and they've just had storms just constantly over the same areas. And well, that's what you've gotten there, unfortunately. Well, we had a lot of moisture here in our area in the tri-states. Haven't had a lot of storms, however, as we've had that fuel for the fire, so to speak, but no real lifting mechanism, nothing to really trigger a lot of thunderstorm activity. Did have a few last night. I'll show you those in just a second. Kind of neat. We got up to 79 degrees here on our almanac, and yeah, it's just a few degrees above our average. So a nice warm day here in the tri-states, and a little bit of humidity kept that warmth up during the night, too. But we did have some thunderstorms last night. A couple of isolated ones. This is the rain uh, rain precipitation from the last 24 hours and you can see the tracks of a couple of storms. No, I heard a few rumbles of thunder late last night. One went just south of Quincy here and another one just went south of Hannibal and went just parallel, just a little north of Parallel Hill or here of I-72. Actually put down about two inches of rain just north of Pittsfield in that small area there. So if you're traveling on I-72 late last night, you might have gotten a good downpour out of that. Less of lightning too. But that's what happens when you have a lot of moisture in the air. You have a tendency to those thunderstorms just kind of pop up sometimes out of nowhere. That allergy index, grass and mold up there over the moderate category, sneaking up towards the high. The trees, yeah, around the moderate category as well, and the weeds even in there making an appearance. So everything going with the allergies, unfortunately, across the tri-states. The sun is out, though, and that's a silver lining for the allergy sufferers. 78 degrees, nice warm temperature, a little bit of a breeze from the north at 8 miles per hour. It's a fantastic day to get outside, of course, after our newscast. And currently across the tri-states, yeah, lots of sunshine. A little bit of clouds here in Jacksonville at 79 degrees. Everybody in the upper 70s to low 80s in the satellite radar. Yeah, you can't see anything here because of that sun and the blue skies. Got to zoom out to really see anything. Here's that storm system that gave us the chances for rain yesterday. That's off to the east. More rain chances and rain storms, severe weather, tornadoes flooding back to the west. Been going on nonstop. Now, we might have a little bit of chances for some rain and thunderstorms tomorrow. A weak upper level system is going to move into our area. That's going to give us our next chance. Speaking tomorrow evening, I think, and then through tomorrow night into tomorrow morning. The real threat, the widely scattered thunderstorms, will happen Friday afternoon as we have a cold front entering our area. That's going to lift all that moisture up. That's going to turn into thunderstorms, and I think everybody is going to see some thunderstorms around tomorrow, or Friday, I should say. Tonight's lows, yeah, we'll get on down to the low 60s, much like today. The highs tomorrow, well, much like today also, getting up into the low 80s here. The clouds will be increasing through the evening tomorrow, and definitely those chances for rain and thunderstorms will ramp up as that cold front comes closer, in addition with that upper-level system, weak upper-level system. But tomorrow evening, we could see some showers and thunderstorms. And Friday, I think most all of us will see some rain and some thunderstorms. Cold front clears us out after that, though. Gorgeous day today, though. Mm -hmm. Really nice, wasn't it? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic Absolutely. weather. The yeah. sky is just gorgeous. It's crystal blue out there. It is. Nice. It is. Very nice. Thanks. Nice job, Dave. Oh, thank you.